Hello everyone, it is time to continue the series. So, first we're going to talk about your ideas. Now, what is an idea? An idea is basically something that you come up with in, in your head. But I'm going to show you a method that you probably did in school, or you're going to do in school. So, let's get to it. So okay, your your brain is flooding with ideas and you really want to turn this into a manga. So but you need to take the proper steps and you, if you don't know how, you will, you've come to the right place. So okay, for an example, I will use my series I Heard Genie as an example. So let's say you come up with your idea. So I came up with an idea of I wanted to do something magical so and I decided okay I want to do something with magic but what genres do I want to do so if you're not sure what genres you want to do basically pick some of your favorites they don't necessarily have to be mainstream but something that I would suggest that you enjoyed as a child so looking back into my childhood I liked two series. I like this one series, uh, I think it was made in the 60s or, or 70s. It was called I Dream of Genie. I loved it that I, I love the costume. I love the the hijinks how she always gets things wrong. And later on there was another movie that I liked by Disney Aladdin. So I like both of these and I realized, oh, Genie is in both of them. So I decided, okay, I want to use something with Genies. It's not really done before. It basically comes from both points of my reference. So I decided, okay, I'm going to do a Genie. Then I decided, okay, what genres do I want? Do I want to be action? Do I want it to be mystery? But I decided, no, I... I really don't want to do that. So both of these made me laugh, so I decided, okay, I'm gonna go with a comedy. Um I went back to another series that I liked, the very first series I ever wrote, I mean I ever read, Love Hina. So I'm like, okay, well Love Hina is a comedy also. So like I Dream a Genie. So thinking about these three and I decided to keep it at three so I could draw from them just small bits and pieces and not overwhelm myself so I suggest don't go over three different uh, idea sources so out of Aladdin Genie had rules he had to set so I'm like okay I want to do that with mine so I'm adding a adventure element to it. And then because I love Hina, Love Hina was a harem. So I'm like, okay, I want mine to be a harem too. But then I also decided I want to add in another subgenre. A little romance for females. So basically, comedy and harem are the main two and then Romance and adventure are the subgenres I decided to have, so I could rotate them in. Now. You don't necessarily have to do this. That's just one way um, you could do it. So, looking at this, G I Dream of Genie and Aladdin both had one genie. So, not to copy and just to draw on from, I decided let me change that number to three. So then I noticed how. In the show, each episode, you know, he would wish for stuff and it would go wrong. But then Aladdin only had three. So you had infinite amount of wishes versus three. So I sat and thought, I really don't want to do infinite amount of wishes. It it might be too much. And I could really spam it and it'll lower the quality of my story. So I decided, okay, let's give each genie seven wishes. For a total of 21. So I'm like, okay, 21 wishes is a lot. I could do one wish a chapter if I wanted to. Or one chapter, he gets no wishes, and it just compile extra chap uh, extra wishes and stories later on. So 
I decided, okay, now that I have my concept, I need to decide my uh, main character, my MC. So, now that I've decided, okay, let's go to my main character. So, do I want um, my, my main character to be female or male? So, I decided I just want to go with male this time. Not saying there's anything wrong with female main characters. I just decided to go with male because I wanted um, to. I wanted my first series to be somebody I can relate to. And I can relate to males, obviously more. So okay. Now with my male character, what are his what traits do I want him to have? Um. So first, I wanted him to be. I wanted him to be Japanese for the sole fact that. I wanted to, I wanted to him to be an immigrant that comes to America, so he moves to America. So you know I can put um, U.S. culture into my series because the Japanese put their they obviously manga and anime wear Japanese culture. I wanted mine to wear American culture, but I didn't want it to be all Americans and be kind of culture shock for people. So I decided, okay, we'll just add make her to Japanese. Then sticking to that, I want him to be a pervert. So then, once I came to that, I looked back at those and went, oh, "Okay, well, harem romance." So basically, it turned it into an itchy uh, subgenre. You, you see how my ideas are beginning to play off of each other. So basically, you don't have to come up with everything and go to the next step. Come up a little bit, go to the next step, and then if you have another idea from a past step add to it and then continue on to the journey. So I'm like, okay, so he's a Japanese pervert, moves to America, and then he has three genies. So basically, I have the start of my story. So then you have to basically come up with a name. The name doesn't have to be complicated. It can be something simple. So I was randomly reading a magazine one day and I saw um, a, a, a player from a team that I hate, which is the Duke Blue Devils, because I'm a Tar Heel, Tar Heel fan, and they have a long-standing rivalry. Uh, Michael Jordan actually played for the North Carolina Tar Heels. So, I saw his name was Jabari, and I'm like, I've never seen that name before. I like that name, so I'm going to take it. So, this is how, basically, I came up with my idea for my series. So the last thing I needed to do was I need a name for it. So I wanted Genie to be in the title. But I didn't know what to call it. So I thought of I've Dream of Genie. So I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I don't I can't rip I don't want to rip off the title. You can get sued for that. So I decided to come up with I Heart of Genie. So I was sitting there thinking about that. I was like, I H O G. Like IHOG would be the um, acronym, but that really didn't last too long. I didn't like that, so I was like, "Well, I want to keep heart in it." So I just said, "Okay, what if I just erased the of?" So basically, I came up with I Heart Genie. So I decided, "Okay, I'm gonna just stick with this title," and sometimes it, it usually it won't be permanent. I come up with like so quote unquote code names. So I might be like Project Genie, Project Magic, or whatever. So to keep my title hidden away from the public, and when I want to talk to get feedback from other artists or individuals, I basically would say this is Project Magic. Project because I'm working on it, and I said Magic because I want it to be magical. So this is basically all of this right here is step one of coming up with your idea.